isn't it outrageous in a world as beautiful and diverse as this that most of our realities are nine to five jobs being bossed around by some schmuck named nick who's really just taking out his frustration on you because he can't satisfy his wife anymore hey uh isn't this a game review oh shit my bad you're right welcome to the review of the company man let's get to it Welcome to the life of Jim. No, not that Jim. The newest employee at Goodwater Company. Bright-eyed and full of can-do attitude, Jim is already daydreaming about being CEO on his first day until some prick from accounting convinces him to pull a lever that ultimately results in his demotion to the lowest job on earth. Customer... Hold on. I can barely even say it. Customer service. You are now tasked with climbing your way to CEO by any means necessary. And that means firing every bozo you see on your way up the corporate ladder. And that's how the game starts off, basically. The company man is a pretty straightforward 2D platformer. Each level basically has you navigate through a different ring of hell of the corporate world as you do pretty run-of-the-mill puzzle solving and platforming to finally reach a boss at the end who, once beaten, raises your salary and promotes you to the next floor. Checkpoints are littered throughout the game via coffee stations that also refill your health bar. Okay, Jim. Jim, that's enough coffee. Jim, 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 for God's sake, drink some water. Jim! Nothing about the game design redefines anything for the genre. You really only have a few buttons to use because your only weapon is a keyboard. And with it, you can either smack fellow employees around, or you can shoot off a nasty email, which basically functions as a gun. There's a few ammo types and an overpriced coffee shop that allows you to purchase some perks, and that's about it. But what the company man lacks in innovation it more than makes up in charm. And this game is fucking oozing with it, man. There were so many moments for me during the game that just had me grinning from ear to ear. Little puns and animations for enemy types, it's all so funny. But at the end of the day, I wish that charm wasn't all that I had to talk about. The further that I got in, the more I realized how much Forest Studio shortchanged themselves on providing a truly one-of-a-kind experience. I don't know if it was lack of time, or funds, or even simply a lack of confidence in their product. They clearly didn't want to challenge you too much, because even on hard difficulty, this game's a breeze. There's zero collectibles other than these little coins that you can find scattered, and nothing to explore, and at the end when I completed the final boss, I felt like they even missed out on the more touching moments that they could have had, like the flashback in the middle of the game. It's hard to say the reason for all these things I mentioned without asking the developers themselves. But if you're out there for studios and you're listening, next time give us at least one extra gameplay loop, add some RNG to these bosses, and polish up the platforming just a tad. Until then, while I do recommend the company man, and hope to god they make another one in the same vein, I can't give it anything over a 3 out of 5. Thanks for watching.